What's up, YouTube? This is your man, Big B Production 100. I have a great video for you guys tonight. It's in that initial video. I will be showing you guys how you can show reference photos inside your Photos app on your Mac. Let's begin. First off, you want to start by opening up your Photos app, like so. Now that we have our Photos app open, you'll see that I have some pictures inside my Photos app. And this is my beautiful niece Jordan here. I love her so much. Beautiful little baby. Look at her. She's cute. But uh, anyway, you'll notice that if I try to right click on this photo, it will not allow me to show the photo information such as like where the photo is at on my Mac. That's because this photo right here is not stored on my Mac itself. It's stored on the iCloud from my iPhone. Now, when you import photos from your iPhone, it imports the photos from your iPhone, but it's all stored on your cloud. So you cannot show that file. So even if you go up to where it says file here, you'll notice that when you come down, it shows show reference file in Finder. It's grayed out. That's because it's not on your Mac. It's on your iCloud. So I'm going to show you guys how you can make changes so that you'll be able to edit your original photo if you want to edit it. You know, let's just say for a later use or something like that, change it, you know, anything. So we're going to connect the iPhone here in just one second. Okay, now that I have my iPhone connected here, I'm just going to close down iTunes. You'll see that my iPhone is now connected to my Mac. And I have some photos that I can import. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on this photo. And right here where it says import selected, I'm just going to select that like so. Okay, now one photo has been selected and imported. I'm going to come over to where it says photos. You'll see here, this is the photo that I just imported. I took a shot of my desktop setup of a Cadillac and a cool Usami that I purchased from the mall. Okay, we're gonna go back. I'm gonna take this photo and now drag it. You know what? First, let me. Uh, I'll just do it this way. I'm gonna open up my Finder here. And now I'm gonna go down to where it says Photos or Pictures. And you'll see. Let me just open this up a little bit. You'll see that I have a folder in here that I created called These Photos. So. I just created that folder for the purpose of this video. I'm going to drag this photo into that folder like so. Close that. Now you can delete that photo from your iCloud because we don't need it. Now let's just say the photo that you just imported in that folder you can now go back to pictures and find the folder or it may be on your desktop or wherever you created that folder you can now drag it and drop and release so basically you're just re-importing the photo that you just imported in your photos app but you're just importing the photo from your Mac so that when you do so when you right click you can show that reference file in your finder like so I hope this video was very informative for you guys. I have no idea why Apple uh, created the Photos app this way. Um, me personally, I don't like it. I just share with you guys the most easiest and most convenient way that uh, I would prefer to do it. So, so again, I hope this video was very informative for you all. If so, please rate, comment, like, and subscribe. And give me your thoughts down below in the comment section of why you may not like this way or why you feel Apple should have changed some things or, you know, did some things different. Just your thoughts on what you think Apple could have did to make this a little bit better. Or if you happen to know a better way to do this, please let me know. Thank you for watching.